Hi, my name is Tara Lenny, and I've been asked to explain what I do and how I have seen it help other people and how um, each thing that I do, how it's helped me as well. So I'm a personal trainer, group fitness instructor, yoga teacher, Pilates teacher, um, TRX trainer, nutrition coach. Um, I do energy balancing and energy work um, as well as um, a meditation facilitator. Um, help, I help with breath work and just trying to um, guide people in the meditation. So I'll address each of these areas and how it's helped, helped me and how it has helped um, my clients. So the first thing I would like to talk, to about, talk about is strength training. So strength training helps us um, support our joints. It helps us in our everyday life, picking up boxes, walking upstairs, um, opening jars even. So it helps in a whole wide range of um, things that we do in our everyday life. It personally has helped me um, be able to do all the other things I like to do, whether that's recreational, hiking, biking, anything like that, but it's also helped me with other other areas like yoga and Pilates um, because the stronger your muscles are, the more you can do in other areas. It's very important to cross train, cross train across different areas that um, are opposites of each other, like working out really hard in the gym or running really hard compared to yoga and Pilates, which is more mindful and deep core work. So, as well as the balancing, like the balancing in yoga and Pilates that you get really helps with your other sports. Yoga. Yoga has changed my life. It, it, it's, there's almost not even enough time to briefly discuss how much it has changed my life. But, um, I was a very inflexible person and, um, I went to it for the fitness aspect and the more power yoga and over time, I slowly was able to go down into more deeper, slower, more meditative types of yoga. Um, my mind is so active that I needed the power yoga to really stay engaged. And I still do a flowing yoga because my mind is so active. I need to keep moving somewhat. So um, it really helped me slow down from that hard workout phase. Um and get down into a more meditative, stretch the muscles, relax the opposite of what I was doing in other areas. So I've seen yoga help so many people through trauma, through um, through injuries. Um, I've seen it help them with balance and confidence and core and um, posture, the way they carry themselves. Many, many, many aspects of yoga. Are very beneficial and I've seen a whole wide range of changes in people um, because of yoga. Nutrition is so important and it's amazing the difference um, that I feel and that other people have told me how they feel when they change or I've changed from more processed foods and fast foods, things like that, to more earth-grown foods. The energy that is produced out of these natural foods is so much better. It's like you're taking a live plant and taking that live energy and you're moving it into your body for, for live energy, life energy. So we get so many nutrients and antioxidants um, and many, many other things like we don't like... Um, there's just so much that it's hard to cover a little bit of that in one place. The best thing I can recommend is try it for yourself. Try to stop eating as many processed foods and fast foods and try to go to more natural earth-grown foods and just see how you feel. See the difference. It's like our body really understands what to do with the foods that were put here on this earth for us to, to eat. It understands. It like breaks it down and turns it right into energy. Where if you get these processed foods, these man processed foods, these fast foods, um, our body does not understand what to do with it. And a lot of times it stores it as fat because it's so confused at like, what is this and what am I supposed to do with this? Um, as well as like your body is, it drains the energy trying to figure that out. Like trying to figure out what is this and what am I going to do with it? And then 
with it lacking nutrients, your body still craves more food because it's not fulfilled the nutrients it needs to function through the day. So um, it, it really needs those um, nutritious foods to fulfill the needs and then it's calm and it's um, satisfied. Like, have you ever noticed how you can't just eat one chip or you can't just eat um, one cookie? It's because the body is not really getting anything that it needs out of that. So with nutrition and like all the right vitamins, all the right minerals, all the all of those type things that we need, if we're getting those from food, our body is gonna just love us for it and feel so much better and it's going to treat us well. Not as much inflammation in the body and um, just feeling good overall, more clear thinking, all of that, all of that great stuff. So Pilates, Pilates is one of my favorite, um, my favorite forms of exercise. You can take any, any sport, any um, person who's really good at one or two things and you can show them some Pilates moves and they're like, wow, that is so hard. And it looks like it's so easy, um, but it's very mindful. It's very controlled. And Joseph Pilates actually called his exercise controlology. He did not call it Pilates. So um, it is all about moving with the breath, quality over quantity. So it is not muscling through or speed speeding through exercises. It is slowing it down, controlling it, doing like 10 really good quality exercises opposed to like 20 or 30 or more as fast as you can. So it's been proven in the gym and with general exercise, with, with our core work, that it all needs to be slow and controlled with our breath. Another thing about Pilates is it really promotes the natural curve of the spine and that we work in the curve of the spine. So we move with the breath, we do the quality over quantity, we keep our spine neutral, and um, we move slow and we stretch through every move. So it's like you're lengthening and when you're moving, you're lengthening and contracting. And when you're um, in the hardest part of it, you're exhaling and compressing. So you actually get to the deepest layer of the abdominal by um, using the compression and the exhalation. So I have seen um, people come back from injuries, back injuries um, after abdominal surgery, after those muscles have been cut. I've seen them come back to um, much better places in their strength and in their center by starting with Pilates and then working our way out. And that's one thing you do with Pilates or Controlology is that you're starting from the core, you get the core first, and then you start adding all these other movements. And it can even be movements you do in the gym, but that you are going slow, you're moving with your exhale, you're using your abs in that exhale. So, um, it, it's just great. I've, I have personally experienced that after a, a C-section where they used to cut all the way through the muscles and everything. Um, and I had like no strength in those lower abdominal muscles and it, I broke it, the Pilates exercises down into very small segments to help rebuild that strength, but also reconnect my mind to my body where that had been cut. So um, that's why I'm such a big believer in Pilates and um, I just love it. And if you haven't tried it, you should. So the last thing I'm going to discuss is meditation and energy work. So let's start with meditation. Meditation is very difficult for a lot of people, especially in our fast paced world. Um, we have so many distractions. There's TV, there's cell phones, there's there's all this external um, stimulation. And so we need it now more than ever. We need to um, quiet the minds, calm down, um, connect with how we feel each day, connect with what's going on with us emotionally, what's going on physically with our body, um, what's going on with our mind. Um, my, my mind is so fast that this this has been really hard. It's been a big journey for me, a big change um, to try to slow that down. And so I found that like the Insight Timer, which is a free app or website, they have guided meditations, thousands and thousands of them um, for every aspect you can think of in your life. 
And I started with that and you can start with like just one or two or three minutes at a time. It doesn't have to be an hour. Like there's so many misconceptions about meditation. So you can start with very few minutes and then just build yourself up or stay with a few minutes. Just taking a few minutes can really help. Um, and there are many forms of meditation. So like I was just saying, the guided meditation helped me a lot. It's helped a lot of my clients. But also there's like just staring at a flame, journaling, prayer, complete silence, listening to white noise, sitting in nature, hiking in nature, there taking are also a walk. visual meditations and some places you can find that. Um, Netflix has a um, show called Moving Art. Check that out. That is awesome. And um, Headspace has visual meditation and YouTube. YouTube has visual meditations. So check those out. Um, you might find that that is helpful to you. So um, meditation also can be breath work. So our breath is the only way that we control our mind and our body. We, our brain can take control of the breath and work the mind and work the body with that breath. So that is, can be a very helpful tool. So yoga is called yoga practice. Meditation is called meditation practice. Breath is called breath practice because we are practicing for those times in our life when we need these things to calm down or help us through trauma or help us through hard times. So in on normal days, normal days, we are practicing these things so that when we need them, we can call upon them and we can use them. So breath work, there are hundreds of types of exercises for breath and you could Google them and start learning about them. You could, I'm sure you can YouTube them. So the energy system is um, something that has not been able to be measured by our medical standards today. Um, or not medically accepted measurable standards. It's just a hard thing in your body to for them to figure out yet, but I have all the confidence in the world that they are gonna figure that out because there are they have already made so many um so many steps forward in that area. But when your energy system is off, it shows in other ways of your life and it's like um attracting negative people instead of positive people, that kind of thing. We project our energy. And so all these things we do in life, all these distractions, the work, the family, the people, the situations, the stress, it all call it all pulls our energy away from us. And like when we do yoga and meditation and breath work, maybe even exercise, we are calling our energy back to ourselves. And um chakra balancing, if you can um, look that up and start learning about that. Chakra balancing it has really changed my life personally. Um, I found that my nervous system in certain areas was holding trauma or stress, and I worked through that, and that was very helpful to me, and I have seen it make huge changes in other people's lives. Um, it's, a, it's like a subtle change. You work on it, you work on it, you work on it, you work on it, but then in a year or over months, it makes just a dramatic change. I've seen people go from being in the hole with depression and finally coming out of that, you know, over time coming out of that by working on um, a more meditative energy system, yoga flow um, type, type mindset. And um, speaking of flow, like it's been proven that um, with trauma, one thing that helps, whether it's little life trauma or major big life war trauma, that um, flowing movement helps. So yoga, tai chi, dance, um, playing an instrument, all that, all those things with a rhythmic flow can really help. So um, I've tried to touch on um, a few things, strength training, yoga, nutrition, Pilates, meditation, energy work. It's like a whole package of health and wellness and just trying to do a little bit here and there, not trying to do everything every day, but trying to do a little bit here and there can really make a big difference in your life. And I hope that you will um, start trying some things you haven't tried yet. Thank you.